Let's try and figure this out. This is 1, and I'm going to XOR it with 3. What is 1 XOR 3? Now we're dealing with the XOR operation. So let's write down this. Write this down. 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. Let's XOR these guys together. 1 and a 1. Ah. Uh, that means if you have a 1 and a 1, and you're going to XOR them, only one of them can be a 1 to get a 1 output. Here i got two of them, that's going to give me a 0. Here I've got a 0 and a 1 on this output, and i got one of these guys, one of these 1s. Huh? There we go. Here's my answer. It's 2. So 1 XOR 3 equals 